What's going on YouTube? My name is Dylan with the Visor Grant. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, people, today, as you can tell, we are live on Dueling Book. I am doing my first ever online uh, gameplay that I'm posting to this channel. Uh, I just had a really cool ranked game with a player by the name of Cool Cats 572 uh, I was testing out this really cool Strike Ninja deck that I found on GoatFormat.com, and he is playing pretty standard Flip Chaos with some really cool tech cards. So we're going to go ahead and play. Uh, we'll show both of our hands. Uh, we'll next play and we'll fast forward because this is a little long match. We went to game threes, so it's pretty crazy. I started out with uh, Donzalu, Mystic Tomato, Breaker, Nudoria, Scout Plane, and Mirror Force. I drew Scout Plane like it's my day job. Uh, I'm only playing one Scout Plane in this list. Uh, and he opened up with Dekoichi Knock, Dust Shoot, Book of Moon, and Dekoichi. So opening double Dekoichi isn't the greatest, but we're going to go ahead and play. I'm going to set the tomato, set the mirror. He's going to draw to another Book of Moon, so seeing two two-ups isn't the greatest. Uh, he was a really cool guy, by the way. So, uh, Cool Cats, if you ever see this, or Cool Cat 572, if you ever see this video, uh, uh, make sure to hit me up, man. Let's play together sometime. So he's going to set Book and Dust Shoot. And this is probably one of the coolest Dust Shoots I've ever seen. He actually had to think about this for a minute. So he's going to shuffle back the Breaker. Uh, I'm going to set the new Doria. He's going to set those. Uh, this is going way too fast. Okay. So uh, he's going to duo me. He's going to rip the Donzalug and the Blowback out of my hand. Uh, I have the new Doria and the Scout Plane set. Well, with Mirror and Saku. I think I'm in a pretty good position here, but he tells me otherwise. So he flits Assailant, pops my new Doria, which was the only way I could really think of digging my way back out, is if he decided to attack said new Doria. I'm going to flip Mirror Force. It's going to destroy both of his monsters. Uh, he's going to set the other to Koichi, and he's going to pass it back to me. I draw a creature swap, and I just pass it. Uh, he draws into Tomato. He flips to Koichi. Uh, and draws into Spy, which is kind of crazy. He's going to attack into the Scout Plane, because he knows that this is still the Scout Plane. It's the last card that he knew from the Dust Shoot. He's going to set the Scout and pass. I take a look at his graveyard to see who's anywhere close to any kind of chaos. Uh, yeah, so he's going to... I'm going to move to set Spy. He's going to draw Graceful for turn, which is just absolutely... from. From what is said a lot in this game, so he's gonna flip to someone another spy. But from what is said a lot, is what is said a lot in this game is unfair, insane, just words that we both used a lot in this match. <laughs> so he's gonna draw into a Salient Serpent Ring of Destruction, which is mind boggling. Uh, he apologizes, saying he's never been so lucky. So he adds back the other Knight of Salient. I tell him that I'm getting super scraped because my hand was not good at all. Uh, he's going to Raikeki break pitching to destroy the spy. Uh, use assailant, get back assailant. And I'm just going to go ahead and scoop it up. Uh, here in siding, I actually side in triple Thessalos uh, by, uh, uh, by siding out two Mobius and uh, a heavy storm, I believe. Yeah, it was two Mobius and a heavy storm. I can kind of see that he's not a super back row centric deck. He's he's probably just playing the uh, the standard four uh, trap cards, you know, like mirror force ring stuff of that nature. Uh, opening hands going into game two. He or I open up Sangan, Pot of Greed, Thessalos, Torrential Tribute, and Nobleman. So drawing that side that side of Thessalos is insane. I actually don't main Thessalos in this deck. I actually side Thessalos. The list that I saw on GoFormat didn't have a definitive uh, side deck. Or side deck options. So I chose to side Thessalos for when I want to go into more of like a hand control kind of aspect. More so against kind of chaos control-esque decks, decks like this. Where that burnt damage can matter. He opened up pretty okay. He opened up Dekoichi, Raigeki Break, Sork, Tomato, and Thunder Dragon. So pretty good. I go ahead and draw Creature Swap for turn. I move to main phase one. I activate Pot of Greed. Uh, I'm going to draw into Breaker Graceful. I graceful him drawing into spy spy plane and destruction. Uh, I'm gonna pitch the spy or the the scout plane and the creature swap. Set spy spe, uh, set ring set torrential pass. 
Next turn, he draws Graceful for turn. This guy is like the Graceful God. <laughs> He's going to Graceful. Pitching both those Thunder Dragons, drawing into Ring Nudoria. We just, me and him just love drawing Ring off, off of draw spells, you know what I mean? So he pitches two of those Thunder Dragons. Uh, he's going to set to Koichi, set Ring, set Raigeki Break, pass the turn. This is where the Hand Destruction starts to just roll in. Uh, I, draw, I draw Duo for turn, so I did Trinity him for the Justice. Uh, I'm going to activate Duo, I'm going to hit the Sork, and he's going to choose to pitch the Tomato, and then I'm going to... Flip my spy. Had a little bit of lag here. Sorry about that. So we're going to flip my spy, summon another spy, sack the new spy for the Thessalos. Thessalos is actually going to rip the snatch steel out of the hand, which is insane. And then I have the knock from the top rope, like he says, to hit the Dekoichi. Uh, I want to see here. Did he... Let me pause this really quick. Cannot view his deck. Okay. Uh, next play. Play. And I was I was kind of scared to attack here, even though the back rows were ringing Raigeki, which he obviously could have Raigeki braked. So he's going to summon the Nudoria, and I'm actually going to flip the ring because I don't... I'm playing kind of, I'm kind of playing Protect the Castle on my Thessalus because it's the only thing on my deck that can... Outside of... Uh, what's it called? Outside of it's a board that can out Chaos Orcs. Uh, definitely cannot out BLSs. I draw another knock for turn, which is pretty okay. Normal summon breaker, declare breaker. Breaker is going to uh, target the Raigeki break. He's going to flip the Raigeki break anyways, hitting my thing, and I'm going to attack him for 28, but he, or I'm going to attack him for 16, and he's going to flip his ring. And then by flipping his ring, we both take 16. I attack him for 12. And then I pass the turn on over to him. He's going to draw Night of Sand left turn. He's going to set the Night of Sand. I'm going to draw Exiled. And I'm going to uh, wild knock, hit the other one. <laughs> uh, normal summon Sangan, attack for 22 total. And I'm going to pass it back over to him. This seems to be, uh, you know, kind of a close game. I kind of scraped him a little bit. Uh, on summon here, I'm going to flip Torrential and I'm going to wipe everything out. Sangan is going to search me tomato. So I'm not too terribly worried about it. So I'm going to add the tomato to my hand and then draw for turn, which is Spy. Normal summon the tomato, attack for 14. Uh, depending on his top deck here, it's faith. So I'm going to go ahead. I draw Thessalos for turn, so I'm going to normal summon the... Uh, normal summon the exiled and take it. Uh, he makes a joke here, talking about opening up pot, graceful, dust you, dust you, duo. Uh, let's pause right here, look at hands. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's Donnie, Torrential, Delinquent Duo, Breaker, and Sangin. And he opened tomato, Thunder Dragon... Uh, Spy Potagree Sangan. Uh, yeah, this 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 sounds insane. He drew Sork for turn, which is fucking bonkers. <laughs> uh, so he's going to TD for two TDs. Uh, he's gonna Potagree drawing Doria Breaker and see right here he uh he said that he had all kinds of crazy things in hand. Uh, I draw Tomato for turn. I activate Duo. Duo is going to hit the tomato, and he's going to pitch a TD. I'm going to normal summon the breaker, and I'm going to move to attack over. I hit the Sangan. Uh, I'm going to set the Torrential for turn, and then I'm going to pass it back to him. He's going to normal summon the breaker. He's going to remove the counter for breaker. I think about Torrentialing on summon, but I realize that blows me out to a Sork. Which, I get blown out to Sork anyways, because he goes ahead and summons the Sork. But, uh, he's going to Sork target my Breaker. Uh, he's going to attack with the Breaker, or with his Breaker. I'm going to draw Kaiku, which is pretty okay. I uh, end up removing uh, the two Thunder Dragons from his graveyard, because it keeps lights out of his deck. I kind of go on a tangent here about how, like, in theory... Uh, by banishing those Thunder Dragons, the only things he has left in deck are however many extra moths he plays, plus the BLS. So he sets Spy, sets my Gaki Bacon, passes. I draw the fucking DD Scout plane, so this isn't going to be fun. I can already see myself starting to lose this game. He's going to flip Spy, summon Spy, and he's going to normal summon New Doria, and I and then he activates my Gaki Break, and I offer him a draw. <laughs> you know, a gentleman's agreement, offer him a draw. 
So that ends up being the match. Again, really cool games, cool cat. You, uh, you know, your deck was insane. You were playing pretty cool chaos control. Uh, we talked for a few minutes here. I linked my YouTube channel because I asked if I could upload them. You know, got to get these people's consent. Uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I really do want to do more of these style of videos where I'm sitting down showing you gameplay. Uh, and I actually have my phone recording over here as like a face cam just to see what it would look like if I were to film a face cam for this video. So uh, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.